and people that uh, that he used to represent. Gene Levy and I worked for a period of months to, to work out the, the story and the back histories for all the characters. And uh, obviously the songs were written prior to the, to the making of the film. And uh, every scene is, is, is structured so we know what happens in every scene. But there's no dialogue written at all. And the actors, there's no rehearsal. So what you see is what's happening. I think Chris is like a good parent, a really good parent, who, you know, lets a child fly free but guides them. So you think, you feel like you've come up with everything yourself, even though you're, you're, you're being guided by this script. And the script, the movie, the finished movie is the script. Uh, I was drawn to the folk music as well, and, and I wound up down the folk place and uh, met these two guys. And I could play the guitar a little bit. I could sing kind of right in the middle there, you know, mostly mostly just sang for myself. But Not a bad-looking gent to boot. <laughs> no, that's true. That, that, that didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Uh, and we, we, we ended up getting together, and it just kind of... It clicked. It clicked. In these movies, uh, you're invited to come in and talk with the wardrobe people and the makeup people, and you choose what you'd wear, what your character would wear in each scene. Uh, so you're involved in the choices your character makes long before you start acting. Uh, you're thinking about how your character thinks. You're thinking as your character thinks. You have so much freedom in developing your character, um, and Chris basically never says no. Um, and we'll improvise. A take is not, you know, you rarely hear Chris say cut. He, it's to roll out. Roll out is what you hear, and then you do maybe another take, maybe not. But Chris will say, why don't you take it back from where you were talking about where you meant or whatever. And, but the dialogue will change. Wander through each other's secrets. We trade. Modeled it, uh, the, the voice patterns after uh, a guy that I knew uh, growing up in uh, my hometown of Hamilton in Canada. Um, he was uh, a kind of a, a cl clerical guy. Uh, and that was and that was it. And really just getting the look, the physical look, and the and, and the character really came when I when I saw what the guy looked like and these little things that I'd been collecting over the past month just kind of came out as this as this character. And that's that's really how it happened. A friend of mine was attending a screening of this movie with uh, two guys who were in this kind of folk music way back. And uh, one of them said at one point in the movie, apropos of the song, one of the songs, they're way better than we were. And uh, the other said at the end, it makes my skin crawl in a good way. <laughs> <laughs>